Now, in order to build this um, um, Android application that I um, um, Android activity that I um, have introduced you previously in in previous video, okay, um, with an activity the um, layout, okay, and the um, one eighty ticks, one button, and one um, 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 text view. Okay, we can have several ways to build this one. So um, 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 uh, um, uh, the the ways maybe you're gonna use pure. Java code because all of this, as I said, they are instance of Java classes, so you're gonna they are actually Java objects. Okay, um, um, so this one is you going to another ways is you're gonna use XML um, layout, or this one is actually use actually you're gonna use resource file. Okay, or you gotta um, be able to let's say use the designer provided from uh, some of your tools, let's say Android Studio. In order to design this layout, okay, and when you design this layout, what actually it's going to generate XML file anyway, and um, when you um, 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 code it or um, you have to XML file later on, actually it's going to be translated into pure Java code anyway, because as I already said, so let's uh, see, uh, let me just put the, uh, let me just put the three approaches here, okay, three approaches here, and you'll see. <coughs> And you'll see, um, 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 uh, let's say, um, any anyway, as I explained, this one is uh, this is an instant or an object of this uh, Java class. This one is an object of this Java class, and this one is an object of this Java class. So all of them, uh, um, the activity is object of the activity class, and the uh, layout here is an object of, let's say, in this case, I'm going to use relative layout class. Okay, relative layout class. So um, as I um, um, explain anyway, um, all of these are actually um, objects of Java. So I'm gonna use the most difficult approach, which is this approach, you know, to create the um, um, graphical user interface like this using pure Java code. Okay, so using pure Java code. Okay, so let's just go to um, Android Studio. Okay, so I'm going to start a new. Um, applications we're gonna create a new project this project is I'm gonna say um, 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 basic views um, basic views or um, yeah fine then okay basic views um, basic views basic views for basic views for um, let's just say basic view um, 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 basic View. Okay, then just make it basic views. Then. Okay, I'm um, using Java, using Java, pure Java code. Okay, basic view in using Java. So this one is a package name. Um, the, the company domain name. This one is a package name of the application. So we're gonna code this one using J pure Java code. Then you're gonna select the um, um corresponding um, um, um SDK. You can choose twenty one or any of the minimum SDK you have. Um, I'm choosing twenty one. So um, next, um, in this time, I'm going to demonstrate how to create everything purely from beginning. So we're going to just um, add on this, this um, um, select on this no, um, add no activity, okay, add no activity. So we're going to create the activity itself from beginning. Okay, click on finish and we're going to, it's going to create the project first. When um, um, this project is created, we're going to have our we're going to have our um, application open, but that is no far inside there. Okay, so um, we're going to click on Java. Okay, on this one is the main package of the application. I'm gonna right click on this one, right click on this one, click on new, and I'm gonna create a Java class. Once more, once more, your activity over here. Okay, your activity over here. Okay, is actually an instance of the activity class. So we're going to create a class about this activity. So we're going to create this class is let's say uh, my um, basic view, basic views um, activity, okay, basic views activity. So we're going to click on this one, and this one must be an instance of um, extends, okay, it must be an instance of um, um, activity class, activity class, okay, then. We're gonna override the on create method. If you don't know what um, um or do, uh, don't understand what is on create method, please watch my um, um activity life cycle videos about this one. 
then um, after having this one, um, um, we're going to, uh, let's say, we are going to, um, uh, let's say, we're going to create, okay? So we have created, we have created this activity, okay? Next step, we need to create the um, object of the layout, okay? This layout for um, adding other views inside it. So this one is object of the layout, okay? The layout. So we need to create that one is um, an instance of view group, one kind of layout manager, and we're going to use the, so far I'm going to use the relative layout. So we're going to use relative control space. Make sure that you select this one, enter, okay, um, layout equal to a new relative layout, okay. And um, in order to create this relative layout, you need to specify, okay, you need to specify a, a context, okay context and this context um, this context is actually an instance of this activity you know how could I know this context is the environment for us to um, run this um, 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 layout okay um, but how do I I know um, 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 and so, so um, uh, how do I get that index um, that context okay the context is an instance of this activity because this activity is actually an extension or you're gonna go to um, um, go to declarations so it's an instance of the context um, theme wrapper and if you go to declaration of this context theme wrapper again uh, by um, pressing on on, on um, um, command b or declaration then you'll see if this one is a context wrapper so command b again this is gonna bring you to a context wrapper is actually extends from context so anyway, your activity here is all the way down and extends from our context. Okay, it's extend from our context. So this one, command B. So all the ways down, this activity is, is extended from this activity, extended from this um, content theme wrapper, extended from this context wrapper, and this one is the context itself. So anyway, your activity is also a context. That's why I'm passing it this instance. Okay, this instance to create that one. So what is the job of this layer? This layer is, is a container used to contain other child views like the edit text, um, the button press me and welcome message inside it. Okay. Um, and it is an instance of view group and it is also um, 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 an instance of view. But it doesn't have any visibility elements. So I, I see the, um, um, I put the, the dash here just to prove it. Just to prove it, um, we may run this one and there is um, nothing inside it, okay? Then, um, uh, I'm going to, um, what, what I did just now is, what I did just now is I created the um, um, object of relative re layout, okay? But I haven't put it, but I haven't put it inside, I haven't put it inside the activity yet. So let's say what I created just now is I created something like this, the, the um, smaller version of this object. Okay, so I'm going to use this one to show that it is not visible element. Okay, and this one is the relative object of relative layer. I just created this one, but it is not inside the activity yet. It is not inside the activity yet. Okay, it is not inside the activity yet. So, 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 so. Um, um, so, um, let's just build from beginning. So. What we did just now is, uh, just, just, just to prove it, what we did just now is we created, it's going to be created an activity like this, okay? And what we did also now is we created a layout manager of that relative layout. So let me make sure it's smaller than this one, of oh, that relative layout. Okay, of that relative layout. Okay, of that relative layout. It is non-visible component. What is this one used for? This one is used for containing the other, containing other um, um, child views inside it. Okay, and this one is of type activity. This one is of type activity. And this one is of type relative layout, okay? Relative layout. This one is of type relative layout, 
Okay. Then <clears throat> um, 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 uh, next we're going to uh, next we're going to um, um, do the thing is we're going to place this one. Let me just take the relative layout here, put it outside. Uh, next thing is we're going to take this one okay we're gonna take this one and set it as a view of our activity okay it's too large comparing to too large comparing to this one i need to do the selection again so this one we need to select the text here we're going to take the relative view and place it inside the activity as a content of the activity Okay, as a content of the activity. So this step, this step that we are doing here, this step that we're gonna do here is gonna be done by by doing this, by doing this, you know, by doing this. You're gonna take this activity dot set content view, okay, set content view, and it's it's uh, this activity set the content view as our layout. Okay, as our layout. So what we did is just bringing this one in. Okay, just bringing the um, um, relative layout in. Okay, then, then uh, um, if if we run this application, if we run this application, and if you click on run this application, you'll see. Okay, and this one you'll see um, there is a cross line here for an arrow and if you click run this one it's going to show you that there is no there is um, there is an activity okay uh, but but um, we don't have uh, we we cannot how to say um, it's, it's showing you this one because um, our activity is not declared inside the manifest file so for our activity here to um, be executed we're going to need to declare it inside our manifest file okay inside this manifest file okay inside this manifest file then this manifest file i'm gonna um, give you the um, quick introduction about this manifest file so manifest file this one is using this android um, xml schema so so why is xml schema so that your text like this is uniquely identified or it has um, one unique meaning and uh, the package here is our package of the application it's used to identify our application okay then this one is our application with the um, icon and also the um, label then we're going to declare an activity okay we're going to declare an activity and this activity we need to put a name as a java class this java class is belonging to our package vn.vtgames.basicviewsjava which is this package okay so it's, it's it's a package name dot the class name itself okay so this is java class then then we'll have next elements which is i would like to specify the label of this one or the title of the activity which is um, basic views in uh, using java code okay using java code and for the activity we have a new concept which is the intent filter so what is intel filter the intent filter um, starting from the concept which is the intense food okay the intense is kind of messages sent to the um, um, device in order to activate or in order to um, open this activity okay and um, this um, there are many intents gonna send into this activity but we're going to filter and accept the intent with you know with actions okay this one is that's why it's called filter Okay, we filter the intent with the action is kind of let's say the main action. Okay, what is the main action? The main action means um, your form or your activity can be started without um, um, data. Okay, without inputting data or it's an, an entry point. Okay, it can be an entry point of that application. Okay. And another one is um, category. What is this category? Um, this category with the name is let's say we're gonna use it's launcher. What does that mean? Launcher, launcher is let's say this activity, this activity is going. There won't be a, an icon, okay, inside the screen of your apps, of, of your list of your applications. So it's it um, has a launcher icons inside your application. With with this in mind, with this in mind, you will see. With this in mind, you will see that one application 